Hello everyone. Welcome SharePoint administrators. In this video I'm gonna talk a little bit about unattended access to SharePoint with classic ACA's based permissions and modern site selected based permissions and how to provide these permissions and how to automate. The reason behind is Microsoft just recently pushed an update to M365 environment. And according to this update, users are not able to register SharePoint app only service principle on their sites anymore. Instead, it is recommended to use applications registered in Azure with site selected permissions. And providing site selected permissions in a natural two step process. At first, user need to register his application in Azure and got admin consent. And that's tenant admin business. That's not your point. And the second step would be for this registered application, provide permissions to specific SharePoint site. And that's SharePoint admin concern. Since SharePoint app only service principles have secret expired in one year exactly, and this change was implemented just recently, I expect more and more uh, developers or SharePoint administrators, site administrators, that reach you to get site selected permissions. So you might think of automation of this process. So let me give you a quick demo. Here I log it in as a regular user, Megan, and I do have a team and I'm happy. I'm uh, collaborating with my uh, teammates here, but I want to extend my site functionality and I want some third party application to access my uh, team's site on an attended basis, which is uh, with no user present. So what I would do just recently, I would go to SharePoint and from here I would go to site settings and from here I would type new yeah and this is what I was able to do just a few weeks ago so I was able to click generate to get client ID and client secret and I was able to use client ID client secret uh, to access my SharePoint site so I was able to share this data with developers or any kind of other third, third party application and uh, everybody happy but now if I click generate it gives me notification message that your SharePoint tenant admin doesn't allow site collection admins to create an ACS principle. Technically it's possible to change this again back but I don't think the tenant admin would do this. Instead, uh, instead, it is recommended to get site selected permissions. How? How to get site selected permissions? How a regular user can get them? And the process is simple. So, under portal.asia.com, uh, we would search for app registrations. And here, I can see my own applications registered on my name. So I would click new registration and register application here. Now, this uh, functionality could be disabled in large organizations. So if you are not able 
to click new registration or to register application, there must be a way that you just request this application from your tenant admin. An application when will be registered here. And after this application is registered, uh, you'll have the same experience as here. So let me just register it. So I provide a name, everything else is by default. Nothing should be changed here. Yep, an application is registered. If I go to the same Azure, app registrations, uh, I can see my application, right? So if you request this application from your tenant admin, you should be able to go to this application this way. So what you need to do here is configure app permissions. And it's done like that. So you just click at permissions and select Microsoft Graph and application permissions, not delegated permissions. And you just type this here. And please be aware that first four permissions would provide you access to entire SharePoint. So you will probably uh, not be approved for these permissions if you need access to only one SharePoint site. So again, if you need access to one or a few SharePoint sites, uh, this is what you need to get. So under Microsoft Graph, you got site is not selected permissions and you need to add another permission here. Not now. It's going to be SharePoint. SharePoint API permissions. Again, not delegated, but application permissions. And from here, you would select. Again, site is not selected. Not any other. You would click add. And you can see that uh, Permissions are added, but not granted. So at this moment, we would request this uh, tenant admin consent from tenant admin. So that's exactly why I'm saying that's not SharePoint admin scope. That must be tenant admin scope. OK, fast forward, let me grant this admin consent on behalf of administrator on my second screen. Here I log it in as a tenant administrator and I go to applications and I see application and I go to API permissions and here I can grant my admin consent for this API permissions. So again, tenant admin does this. And let me return to my regular user. So now I log it in as uh, Megan. Let me refresh. Yep, so I see these two permissions are granted. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I need a secret or certificate. So I can uh, generate new client secret here but I will go with certificate and let me upload it. I notice it thumbnail. And I go to overview blade and from here I'll copy and save application ID, tenant ID. Okay, so now let me try to authenticate against Microsoft with this credential. So this is tenant ID, I copied client ID, my site URL and certificate thumbprint. So let me run it. And I got authenticated. So the connection, I can see 
that's my connection. But if I try to get access to some specific SharePoint site, I'll give unauthorized operation. Why? Because although I registered application here in Azure, get inside the selected API permissions here, even approved, does not provide any access. Right? So for your application, for your application to have access to some specific SharePoint site, uh, you need to run PowerShell scripts or call Graph API. And that is done by SharePoint admins. User cannot provide access for his application to any specific SharePoint site. This is done by SharePoint administrator. It could be done using Graph API. So under sites, permissions. Alternatively, you can do the same with PowerShell using pnp.powershell module. And you can see there are some commands. For example, grant command. So using PNP PowerShell module, you can do the same. You can provide for specific application permissions to the specific site. If you just search for site as selected permissions provision in automation, you'll find my blog article where I explain the same maybe in more detailed way. So that's probably it. Thank you all. Bye.